This is important, I think, when studying the deposits around Steamboat Rock. Now, Steamboat Rock is generally not defined as a mesa, such as you would find in the Southwest. The scale of it, it, it is very mesa-like. It's wider than it is high. So we're looking at Steamboat Rock here. Which, which is an example of what could be defined as a mesa. When you scroll in, notice the cliff in the background. That cliff is also 800 feet high. Prior to the flood, that was a continuous that void of 800 feet removal of bedrock had not happened. The floods that came through there stripped away 800 feet of rock. And behind photograph there, there's another cliff. So you have two pairs of cliffs and then standing out midstream, you've got this 800 foot high. Typically, this is not ever referred to as a mesa. And yet, if you go to the southwestern desert, you can find mesas, for example, down there in, in uh, Old Monument Valley that are basically the same height and the same width and the same length as this outcrop right here. But no one really suggests that they were the product of water erosion. 